Alright, we are down in here in the Fox Lair trailer park. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm sure you guys can see that mobile home that is completely flipped upside down. There's actually two trailers that were flipped upside down. I was trying to get into that main street, but there's a bunch of news crews and AEP and a bunch of people crowding the street, so I really can't get in there right now. But I'm gonna keep driving around and see what all I can uh, get. Alright, so pretty much wrapped up my, um, my walkthrough 
of the Fox Lair trailer park damage. Um, <clears throat> heading back up to my place now, actually. Yeah, it was uh, a good amount of damage over there, as you guys can see. Definitely could have been a thousand times worse. Um, man. So from what I could tell, there were two trailers that were confirmed flipped upside down. All the other ones seem to just take uh, damage from, you know, just parts being ripped off of them. Damage from debris, like hitting them, busting out their windows and stuff like that. And one of the two trailers that got flipped over, the other one, <clears throat> the other one was completely vacant. It was uh, a, a new trailer that was actually up for sale, believe it or not. So, I guess there's only one actual trailer being lived in that was uh, flipped upside down. Another area that got hit real good was uh, actually up here at the prison itself. As you can see, they got cleanup crews out there. All that yellow stuff out there in the field is insulation from some buildings that got tore apart by the storm. There's insulation everywhere, as you can tell. It actually blew it all the way into our town, man. crazy so as you can see in my video there was still news crews down there at that trailer park so I think they're gonna be doing another story maybe like an updated story um, today hopefully so I'm not really sure when that's going to air or whatnot um, but they were definitely taking video and photos of the damage so I don't know we'll just have to wait and find out on the news today but yeah um, <clears throat> I guess that's gonna do it for this video I mean we got a decent amount of footage down there um, I was hoping to get more but I had a lot of other news crews and AEP and like you know sheriff's department trucks and stuff like that that were like all over the place um, so the streets were kind of crowded from here and there. Um, now the reason why, you know, besides, you know, the trailer park getting hit by a tornado, you know, and obviously evacuating because of that, the other reason why uh, they evacuated was because there was a gas line and stuff that got uh, broken and there was a gas leak. So they had to evacuate the trailer park get the gas leak turned off um, and then also the AEPs out there there were some power lines and stuff that got torn I think so there was also there was you know exposed wire danger and stuff like that um, but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this one I'm gonna go ahead get back home and get this video uploaded um, and I'll give you some updates. If any updates come through, I'm not sure. But uh, all right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.